do what's in the contract. Listen your expectation so you don't get disappointed. So if you're new to the program, maybe this video will give you an idea what are the pair do's and don'ts, especially that some host families are not following the contract and as what my friend describes au pair, it is a modern slave. So I hope you're not one of those who feel like and I hope you enjoy your au pair year with your host family if you're somewhere in Europe or America. I have five host families in three different countries, why five? Because I changed host families in Denmark, not just twice but thrice. Why? Because we are not a match. Can you change host families? Yes, you can. How many times? So you have two maximum years to stay as an au pair in Denmark, in Norway, and America. And within that period of time, if you are no longer happy with your host family, then you can change host. And better change if you don't want to suffer yourself from emotional breakdown and you can consume your two years by changing one host of family to another which is a good thing for our pairs and host families to find their match and will not leave bad impression with each other or to the program once the host family decided to get you as their au pair both parties will come to terms agreeing the au pairs working hours responsibility allowance food and lodging plane ticket and holidays off so your au pair contract is the heart of your visa why because if it is not followed then the rest of your au pair year with your host family will not be in control what does it mean so for example you both agree that you're gonna work 30 hours per week five hours a day and what happened was you work more hours than you should and it became a routine and the family got used to it until it came to the point of misunderstanding you're not comfortable with each other anymore until um, both decided to stop the program so following the contract is really important and it starts from you so here comes the au pairs dose and do do not please the family by showing off your skills it doesn't mean that you can cook you can bake you can clean you're good at it and you will impress them and they will love it and as i've said that once they get used to it they will ask for more and became a routine just be yourself but anyway it is your day session do not expect it doesn't mean they offer you a lot of things during a video call you believe and expect it will be given. It doesn't mean that you are their parents and in the contract that you are part of their family, you will believe not all will treat you as one. Listen your expectation so you don't get disappointed. Do not let yourself be taken for granted. It is not just you will be flexible to the schedule, so as the host family. This is the most common problem why host family and a pair doesn't work because one feels like being taken for granted while the other feels like it's normal. Do what's in the contract. You are learning the culture and networking as a profession. But if it is not in the contract, don't do it. It is important that you study and learn what was written and agreed in the contract to know your rights and obligations as an au pair. Do not isolate yourself. If something is going on between you and your host family, open it up so they can help you. If there's needed to be adjusted, then just let it pass. Avoid talking to the family until it gets worse. If you both don't come up to terms, then find a family. Don't force yourself to stay in a family if you are no longer happy. Do not assume. Talking and video call during the interview is far different from living with them in person. I've experienced how I praise the family that they're nice, they're so kind, but three months after they changed like not the same one I praised before. So don't assume you're close already. It takes time to know one another. Communicate. Communication is the important factor of host family au pair relationship. Language is not a barrier for good communication. Don't mind the grammar. Engage in family's activities. It is important to get involved with the family's activities, especially to the kids. That's how you get along with each other and build a good relationship. Follow the house rules. You are living under your host family's roof. 
they have house rules that you need to follow and that is a must respected. If you have a curfew or visitors, you must inform the host family if you are late or is coming in to visit you. In that way, misinterpretation will be avoided. Be nice. It is important that you enjoy being an au pair. You love being an au pair and not being forced. How can you enjoy and be nice if you are hurting and grumpy inside? How can a family likes you if you are pouting and not smiling? Be nice but not too nice, just right of being you. Ask. If you don't have any idea how to use all the kitchen stuff, ask. If you don't understand what they were telling you, ask. Don't be shy to ask of the things you don't know how to prevent rant from the family. Everyone has different personality and characteristics, so your period depends on you. It's all your day session. This video is only a guide an idea for those who are new to the program. The do's and don'ts I gave are just a few for our pairs to be aware of to prevent abuse of the contract. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and please don't forget to click the subscribe button.